Uh, name? Uh, Madam Kanees. Madam, is that first name, Madam? Yes, first name is Madam, second name Kanees. Okay. Uh, passports, please. Um, here you go. Ma'am, this is not uh, Indian this passport. This is my, it's a passport. It's a passport. It is not Indian it passport. It is a South African passport. It's South African yes. passport. Uh, can you tell me why I've been called to the police station? Madam, I'm calling you here for uh, a simple question about what is improv? Oh, you want to know what improv is? Yes. So you've kept me here for 28 hours to ask me what improv is. Madam, you are not, improv is illegal in this country. Improv is not illegal. Improv is my religion. Are you telling me I can't follow my religion? Improv is illegal in this country, madam, is what I'm trying to say. Because in this country, to perform at a venue, you need to give a script beforehand. Approve it, vet it, only then performance happens. In improv, you're saying whatever you want, that is illegal in this country. Well then, half the politician's speeches should be illegal. And scene. <laughs> we will do another one for the opening. Yeah, anyway, okay. this won't make it. <laughs> All right, today we're going to be discussing uh, with you about improv. Yes. Um, there are a lot of. Now, Kaniz and I, we both have gone uh, to UCB and yes. Magnet to study improv. Kaniz is way more experienced. She's done a huh? lot more improv internationally with a lot of other crew, which is right. what's important. Right. Um, I have been imp improvising mostly with us. Yes, correct. Uh, so, because of that, uh, I just know our styles, which is very good. You've got the experience blanket going on. I so know. to first, I firstly know. start off with, I think what happens is every time we go on stage, the audience is expecting whose line is it anyway. Correct. And um, I remember when we met Colin Mockery and we met um, Brad Sherwood. Brad Sherwood. Yeah. They also said that yeah, this is the only format of improv that makes money. Yeah, correct. Improv is a art form which does not make money. Yeah. Coming from them, we both, we are like, huh? uh, what are we doing in our I lives? Right, my stand-up yeah. set. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, when they said that, it was a little disheartening, but yeah. at the same time, I think they're coming from a place where they're like, they've been doing it for too long. And things have changed, uh, I mean, things are changing. Things are changing. People are a lot more open to different kinds yeah. of comedy. I mean, like even stand-up now with like specials like Net and stuff, those are also, yeah. the structure of stand-up is also being questioned. Exactly. Like, and like I, I read a, a tweet by Kumail not Nanjani, yet. Nanjiani. Nanjiani yesterday. He said, like, why do we have to define what stand up is and what's not? Like, if it's funny and you're entertained, then just yeah. take it in. Like, it doesn't have to always, like, yeah, yeah. fit rules and live in boxes. So, I, I've, I've realized this improv is a great place to come up with characters because yeah. you're literally on the spot. Correct. So, you come up with things that you can't write down and then you can use that as characters. Yeah. Another thing that I've seen is people do improv scenes and they're like, hey, this could become a good sketch. Correct. Then they take the scene, they rewrite it, they reword it. For example, Key and Peele's format is the same. There will be a writer He's who's watching a premise and they're going ahead And then, it. then, that's the thing. Improv is a great tool to use to workshop ideas. Correct. Uh, instead of like mm -hmm. sitting there and writing, getting up and doing it can be a lot more, can yeah. inspire a lot more jokes and thoughts yeah. for the sketch. Like we have one game in, 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 in improv called Questions Only, yeah. which was originally used as an exercise to show you how you shouldn't ask questions in a scene. Correct, because one of the rules of improv is, um, is do not ask questions, Correct. because if I ask you a question, it's the liability of the other player to yeah. respond, that's too much pressure. You put onus on me yeah. and you're buying time, yeah. like you're wasting time on stage. Yeah. You're like, you're like well, what are you doing here? Instead yeah. of like, what are you doing in my room? So there are rules to improv, okay? Correct. I know this Correct. is a basic that everyone goes through. You do workshops, a lot of other people do workshops. Rule number one is yes and no, but yes and yes and is yes correct. And. Yes you and have is to a big agree good. with whatever the situation the player is giving. Correct. There are not comedians on stage. There are not improvisers on stage. They are called players because you correct. want to play. Even terminology no, in improv is a supportive play, it's system. It's a play. It's a playful. It's like going to your friend's house and playing in the afternoon. Like correct. pretty much when you were kids and you would play like with your action figures or Barbies and stuff, you were improvising scenes. Correct, yeah. That's yeah. what you were doing. Yeah, um, there was no one watching you then, no one no watching now either. So the yeah. difference <laughs> is... <laughs> hey, that's changing. People that's are coming changing. for improv shows. Yeah. So for example, yes and. The first rule of yes and. Can yeah. you please tell me what that is? So yes and is basically like, we say, say yes in a scene, otherwise the scene doesn't go anywhere. Got it. So if we're in a scene and I'm like, hey, I'm your mother, and you're like, no, you're not, then we have to start again and I have to give you another suggestion. Yeah, for example, give us a suggestion. Banana. Banana, Banana. okay, cool. Uh, hi. Uh, well, is this is this the African uh, originated bananas? No, I'm sorry, that's not the African originated banana. Okay. 
So here you don't know what to do. Now the onus comes up. But, but here's the right way to go about it. Is that an African originated banana? Yes, that is the African originated banana. And I'm amazed that you found it in our supermarket. We only have Brazilian originated bananas. This is a special banana. Oh, nice. Can I, uh, can I have no, you? No, we need to like put this in a glass box. And this could have magical powers. I don't even know. Like you have found this. Thank you, you are the greatest customer we've ever had. Thank you. This. <laughs> so as you can see in this example, no. if, uh, if, if it's a no, then it's just like, where do I go from this? Correct, correct. And that's why it comes to the second part of yes and, which is you yes. You yes and it you and you add, add information. Yeah, you added the information, which is the Brazilian or whatever. Whatever, like this is the only African one in the shop. It's a special one. And then we can go with, with that yeah. um, magical. And I, immediately I knew what the game is. Right. Oh, like, wow. Now I know what the scene yeah, is yes. about. Okay, let's try to see what the scene is about. Let's see if both of us are in All the right. scene. Okay. For me, the scene was about three. Two, one. Anything, Anything I, I touch with the special, special thing. thing. <laughs> what? You lie! You lie to me! What do you think the scene could have gone ahead? Through? You know, that's so funny, Abish, because you know, we, are, have, we are, have two different minds. Like, yeah. we work differently. Yeah. For me, I'm all about an improv. I love discovering. I don't think, uh, like, like, too far ahead. Right. So I just I love discovering, which is why I love being in like, which is why it's important to have team members like you, right. because different people bring different things. So while you're like thinking maybe two steps ahead, hmm. I'm enjoying playing this fantastical banana, and right, and right, then right, maybe right. you come up with an idea of like now everything I touch is uh, magical. Any fruit I touch becomes a magical fruit. Correct. Um, but meanwhile, I was just enjoying that moment of oh my god, we found a magical fruit. Correct. That's why so, the yes and works so well because. You are yesing it because I came up with the first suggestion. And then yes, yes and, you and it. Then you yes and it. Now, I say, I yes now and everything it. I touch becomes magical. Correct. And then I yes and that. And then the, the scene moves forward. As soon as you say no, we, the scene stops and we have to start again. Correct. That's the only thing. Now, that's a basic rule of improv because it comes, uh, it's tough for a lot of people because sometimes in nervous energy, yeah. saying no is funnier, you get a laugh, Correct. but the scene doesn't go forward. Yeah. The rule in improv is to not crack a joke, play the scene to the most truest manner that possible so that the exploration is more fantastic, even for the audience. Like, oh my God, did they yes. come up with it all together? And that laughter is so different to like a small joke laughter. Like when people make like crack small jokes, it's like, ha ha ha. But like when we create this improv scene and mm. the audience is like just taken aback by how we got there, the laughter comes from like the belly. I've noticed this, it's like a belly laughter. And it's not as frequent, yeah. but it's a fuller laughter. Fuller laughter yeah. that comes in. Uh, when we were discovering about which schools to go and study, there's something called the I.O. and the Second City. Correct. Right now, I.O. and Second City are from Chicago. They have long form improv, which yeah. where they give focus to discovery. Correct. As opposed to Upright Citizens Brigade, which where they give game, 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 yeah, game, game. Yeah, find game, the game, game play the game, yeah. end the scene. So let's explain that a little bit more. What is a long form discovery? Yeah. Uh, and what is a game? For so, a, yeah. yeah. So I haven't been to Second City in I.O. Mm -hmm. I don't know what they do. I went to Magnet Theatre in the U.S., uh, in, the, in New York. And they were exploring, they did more of like discovery in the scene and not okay. just find the game and play the game. Correct, correct, correct. Um, I definitely tend towards more towards that kind of improv, which you the saw in like from discovery. The discovery, which is how we just saw the, with the banana. I didn't think of the game. I right. wasn't just enjoying discovering yeah. what this banana was. And I was, I was thinking, thinking of the, the game. The analogy that I usually give for a team of improvisers is your your brain wheel is spinning. My brain wheel is spinning. Everyone's yeah. is spinning separately, but we're keeping an eye. Okay, right. I'm gonna match yours. I'm yeah. We're gonna match yours, and then it becomes tick tock. Correct. Tick -tock, That's a beautiful. Tick -tock. We're like, oh, it's the same. Your BPM is different. My BPM is different. We call, we it, we'll call it one mind. In we try to create one mind. Yeah, like that we're being on the same page. And then we have exercises where we try to sync people up before a show. So we get yeah. on the same page. So it's not like five different energies trying to do Correct. different things. What is your best definition of what a uh, game is in, a, in, in an improv? Game, by the way, does yeah. not mean, uh, hey, you're playing a game. The technical term for a game is Whenever you I get your first laugh, mm. that's when you know, that's probably what the game is. When you get your first laugh, that should make your brain go like, what did I just do? Mm. Because the audience recognized it as something funny. Let me do that again three or four times or whatever, how many ever times. Yep. Uh, when you get to the, the first laugh is your first indication idea, that, indication that the game something is. has worked. So example, that is what a game is. It's to figure out the first laugh that comes from the audience of like, this is weird, and then, this is funny. Yeah, this is and now let's heighten it. And usually, heighten. usually it's played in beats of like three. Yeah. Um, and that's a very UCB approach to 
improv. It's okay. finding that game and playing it out three times. And then the third time, it's the large, it's the biggest one and scene. scene you and you cut it there. Get it. Um, while in Magnets, like sometimes we would play a whole scene and finish, have a, be a beginning, middle and end. And got then it. we'll call and scene. Got it, got it, got uh, it. So there are different ways of playing out improv. So that is what a game is. And I remember I had the toughest time to come to a game. Remember that within three lines you had to figure the game. And I was like, I am yeah, terrible yeah, yeah, at we this. Will, like, but I've noticed that a lot of stand-up comedians get that without realizing. They understand mm. the idea of finding something that's funny and then heightening it three times. It, yeah. So I noticed that like uh, the Improv All Stars has come out on Amazon Prime video. Yeah. Link in the description. Link below. in the description. <laughs> um, I noticed like there were some comedians in that show who had never done improv before, but they were naturally finding the game in scenes. Yeah. And I was like, and escalating. And then escalating. Because it. it is a comedy writing technique. Everything comes instinctive. People yeah. then put it in a book. Then some people go back to the book right. and think that's the only way to do it. Right. Actually, it's just written down so that you know if you, just in case you forget what's to happen. So right. Right. comedians have that thing where you know you got to escalate. You need to find a closer. Yeah. Biggest laugh to end. But these are ethic uh, things that come to you instinctively right. after you've been on stage for some time. Um, the toughest thing for a standard comedian to shift to an improv thing is the yes and because usually it's no but. What Correct. is the deal with this? Why? Oh, no, yeah. that's so stupid. Yes. We're okay with those laughs. But improv is about investing that tension and that pressure. Yeah, and allowing yourself to maybe not see a laugh for the first two minutes. And I see standard comedians get like, where's the laughter? Where's the laughter? Where's the laughter? I'm like, it'll come. I promise you, if you just stick to the scene, the laughter will come. So we got what the game is in general. We spoke about IO and we spoke about UCB schools. And different schools of improv, yeah. yeah. What? Now, and that's just in the US, huh? Sorry. Yeah, that's just in the US. Yeah, There's so many. I, I don't want to just generalize South sure, Americans, sure. but I know like one of my um, Argentinian friends, uh, and I saw some Brazilians also like follow this kind of format of, they do a lot of dream sequences. What's a dream so sequence? So very surreal kind of stuff. So it's not like, like we are in a coffee shop, want some coffee? Yes, spilled the coffee. Oh no, you're the girl who spills everything. But it's very like, you'll just see them go into dream sequences, a very inception-y type. Um, and a lot of there, I, I noticed that was very like, it wasn't like fast and cut and cut to the next scene and pacey and it was very like fluid, yeah. high, way more fluid than I've ever seen any improv being done. Yeah. Uh, like they go into dreams and they come out of dreams and then they go back into dreams and come out of dreams and very surreal, yeah. absurd kind of approach. Then I would say full credit to the Argentinian and the Brazilian audience because the audience is allowing them to do. For example, yeah, when yeah. we want to do a long form improv scene, we're always like, no, the audience will be like, where is the joke? Right. We came for funny, why are you making us right. feel so nervous? And when we're on stage, we want to make sure that the audience is laughing. The, everyone talks about long form improv and short form improv. Yeah. So I just want to take a, a, a minute of your time and find out yes. what is short form improv, what is long form improv, and as we did in improvisers, is medium form improv, yeah. which is like a, like a mix mash of both. Right. So. Uh, it's to my knowledge, I mean, not my knowledge, but short form improv is usually we, where we play games. Okay. So now we said games, if we've used the term games where we say we look for the game in the scene, this, the word I'm using now is different. Okay. They're actual games with actual rules that you play out in a scene. Okay. Uh, for instance, A, B, C, D. Yeah. You can only, every time we say a line of dialogue, you have to use the next letter of the alphabet. Let's try doing that. So like, all right, Abish, you ready? Uh, babe, I was born ready. Cool, man. Let's, let me explain it then. Down with the notes there. <laughs> Exactly. So basically what happens is um, you have to play a game in a scene. Firstly, yeah. how do you spell improv? Good God. Seriously, we've just been talking for 20 minutes and you don't know how to spell improv. Hello. <laughs> you know, it's, it's my first improv class. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. It's cool, it's cool. I am. Ah, no, I messed up. You messed up. I messed up. So that's uh, ABC. What yeah. is another game? So another game, ABCD, number of words. Like you can only say a number of words in a scene. So let's say you can only say two, I can only say three. Okay. There's another game. Um, uh, like the, I mean, there are millions of games. Correct, um, correct, correct, correct. And we've also, like, a lot of times we end up creating our own games. Correct, um, correct, correct. So like there's something like standing, sitting, and lying down. Like one person, every time one person sits down, someone has to be kneeling, someone has to be standing. Yeah. And as soon as they change. So whose line is it anyway? All, all of them, them are, are just short they're form, short form games. games. So what has happened with the popularity of whose line is it anyway? Everyone thinks that is the only form of improv that exists. Yes, correct. And uh, yeah, and unfortunately, long form hasn't translated onto screen. Very well. Very well. Yeah. A couple of long mm. forms that we, we explored when we were there in the US. One was called Armando. Yes. The other one was called Harold. Yes. Um, there's this one beautiful image of what Harold poster is. We'll just yeah. swipe to that on screen. Yes. Now that entire poster is 
explained. Interesting. Well, yeah. It's explained, but only for improvisers. So Correct. if I pass this on to you, would you be able to explain to us what that is? Yeah. Everyone interprets the Herald and, and makes it their own. Correct. There's no like form. There is a formula, a very basic formula of yeah. how to follow the Herald, but then you can do your own thing. Can I? Uh, so there's like, you get the, the suggestion from okay. the audience. Mm -hmm. I'm going to write suggestion here. Yeah, just write suggestion. Okay. Uh, now there's many ways you can get a suggestion. Okay. You can get someone to come say a monologue, and then you get in, you do scenes inspired by that monologue. One word suggestion. Cake. Cake. We're like, hi. I love having cake. My mom used to make fruit cake during Christmas. My mm -hmm. dad used to put extra rum in the raisin the, as an excuse to drink rum before Christmas. <laughs> so you get a suggestion, and then you do three scenes. So you do scene one. Okay. Scene two. Okay. Scene three. And all these unrelated three scenes, scenes are unrelated. Unrelated. Different characters. This is the latest old monk rum, sir. For ah, you. yes, old monk rum. <laughs> I love putting rum in everything in Christmas. Uh, on the, on the cakes, on the children, <laughs> on the, in the food, on the Christmas tree. I just pour alcohol everywhere, and then, and then I drink it as well. Oh, it's gonna be a Merry Christmas. Guess what I got for you? What did you get for me, Mummy? I got your favorite birthday present ever. Huh? I got a basket of fruit. <laughs> a basket of fruit. <laughs> Yay! For I... my butcher's health. Oh, thank you. <laughs> of course. Oh my god! I love being a raisin. The best part about being a raisin is that I get to hang out with other raisins like you. That's true. You're a small raisin in this cake and you don't know everything about being a raisin. So remember, mm. when someone puts you in their mouth, mm. then you go, No, don't put me in my mouth. Okay, I'll remember so, that. Right. Then you do a, a little like uh, transition. Okay. So you can do a transition, either you do like a uh, a, a, an abstract transition, so maybe you break into dance, maybe you do a rap or something, mm -hmm. or you, they, and again, there's just, you can do anything in the transition. Like, is this uh, a transition? If someone goes. Right, kind of. This is also a Kind of. Can so this be a transition? <laughs> uh, so, yeah, so we do a transition, huh. um, and then we do the second beat of scene number one. Of scene number one. Ah, oh, Merry Christmas! Come here, little child! Thank you. Oh, ah, that's ah. right! Alcohol on the children! What? Come on, who that's wants alcohol on them? That's right, little uh. snarky, bikey, buddies! Oh, oh your, uh, your, your son is really, really unwell. And he's like, my mother is getting me something of because course, she it's always helps me. I always me. bring things that are very useful for my son. My sweetheart, are you... Where's my son? Oh, there you are. Oh, sweetheart, I remember I gave you the medicines and I gave you the fruit. Well, I have something else for you that's very, very useful. I have a doctor. I bought an actual doctor with me. All right, that's your gift, all right? Oh no, help! I'm being eaten! Help me, small raisin! Oh, that's what you're gonna help say. Me. Help me! Help me! Help oh. me! Oh, I get it. Okay, and then comes what? Another transition? So we this do a third the, beat, which is usually f shorter, faster. We okay. really heighten that character. We really, we, we end that story. Oh, no. Everyone covered in alcohol? Fantastic. I'm just going to light a cigarette. <laughs> oh, sorry, son, for disturbing you. I know you're having sex, but I got something useful. A condom. Mom, no, no. Right now, put it on my beta. Mom. Good, very pretty. <laughs> Hello? I'm alone. Ten years later. It's your mother, Raisin. I got you something very useful, a doctor, Raisin. A Harold show is not for an hour. It's maximum 30 minutes. Correct. That's why there you have two Harold teams performing every night. Yeah. Uh, for an hour long show. So this is what we call... This is the basic long form. Like Harold. The Harold. The Harold is the original long form format. Correct. So, like, by the way, thank you for like delving into long form because like everyone does know short form from whose lines oh. anyway. And long form is something we want to really try and we want audiences to like... Mm. kind of be open to receiving mm -hmm. and we're going to be trying that now um, I noticed uh, you know like improv is taking form as a inshallah as a mainstream form of improv especially mm. with like our show coming out on right, Amazon right, right. something from nothing on the, uh, uh, the improvisers and <coughs> the all-stars improvs game night like people are now these platforms are allowing people to see what improv is all about yeah it was amazing Abish I did a show the other day we did a show over mm. here and uh, I came up and I was hosting and I said, how mm. many people know what improv is? And everyone cheered. And I said, does anyone not know what it is? Mm. And no one 
in my 13 years of doing improv, right. this is the first time I went out in the audience and everybody over there knew what improv was and I didn't have to explain it. That's awesome. Uh, so it's good that it's also gaining kind of right. uh, some traction and people yeah. understanding it, which means now we get to try more forms and the long Correct. formats of... of um, because it is the great equalizer by the end of it, right? The idea is that everyone knows what it is, but what else is there? What else is the there? The audience's hunger to like, what else is there right. might help us explore long form. Because the stand-up audience is like, impress us. The improv audience is like, we're here with you. We're here with you. And, and that's such a nice, warm feeling. It is a every nice. time we switch, every time I have to switch from being a stand-up comedian, I have to switch from an improv improviser. I'll have to be like, they're all here. This is love. Yeah, it, it, it is nice. It, it, there's a lot less defense that yeah. you don't have. You don't need that much defense when you go on stage. Correct. It's like, we, like as much as you don't know what's going to happen, we also don't know what's yeah. going to happen, and, and we've all understood that no one knows what's going to happen. Because when we are walking on that tightrope, so is the audience. Yeah. The audience wants you to balance yourself they do. out. Yeah, and but when you that. fail, they're like, oh, it doesn't matter. Yeah. But if you succeed, it's a much bigger uh, belly full applause. Correct. Correct. Yeah. Oh man, man here. Also check out her. In your uh, mouth when he she's done two improv specials on Amazon Prime Video. One is the improvisers, uh, something from nothing. Yes. And uh, improv all stars, which is also live now. So uh, a lot of I get millions of views on Journey of a Joke. Obviously, like you yeah, know. yeah, exactly. Uh, so, so get ready for it being blasted on Amazon. Well, I, whew, I'm ready. All right. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready. I am ready too. Okay, I gotta go. I got a sold out uh, stand up comedy show right now, which oh, I need to prepare wow. for. Oh wow! Okay. So because you know. Well, I've got a stand. I've got a sold out improv show that I don't have to prepare for. Oh. Everything's made up on the spot. Transition. <laughs>